Hello there, Insane Maker with another Insane Tutorial. In this session, we're going to look at how do you connect to a Raspberry Pi without a monitor. The Raspberry Pi is really good for having both a digital and analog output source, but sometimes you just don't have an HDMI or a composite uh, video source. So often, you may want to run your Pi without these, and this is what's called a headless type system. So let's get started. The first step is to stick in the SD card, which is pre-formatted with your Raspberry Pi operating system, into your computer. Once it's in your computer, you should be able to see um, the SD card load, and once it loads, what you want to do is open up uh, the file commandline.txt, and this should be in the root of your SD card. And you can just open that up either in Notepad or in WordPad if you're using Windows. Once you open up this file, right at the very end of this file, um, what you're going to do is put a space and type in the words IP equals, and you're going to specify an IP address here. And what's going to happen is as soon as the Raspberry Pi boots, it's going to use this particular IP address. So in this case, we're going to use the IP address 169.254.1.1. And then what we're going to do is save and close that. And then we're going to safely eject the SD card. And then once we've done that, what we can do is take out the SD card and stick it into our Raspberry Pi. And then we next have to take our power cable and plug that into our power adapter. Remember, you don't want to power the Pi directly off your USB port and then plug the other side of the power adapter into the USB port and then we're going to connect our network port to our computer and the nice thing about this is we don't need to use any special cables the Raspberry Pi's network card is smart enough to auto detect um, whether it's plugging into a computer or into a router or a switch and what we'll do is after a few seconds you should see those lights light up so you're looking for uh, the, the green and amber colored lights at the end and once you see that you know that one your Pi has booted and two you actually do have a good physical connection between your desktop and the Raspberry Pi. Okay the next step is to install PuTTY. So PuTTY is a remote desktop or an SSH type program that allows us to uh, essentially remotely connect to a terminal window through the network. And it's a very common application used by a lot, a lot of network admins. So in this case, we're going to go to Putty's page, search on Google, and click on their download page and download putty.exe. It's a pretty small file, so download shouldn't take too long. And then once you're at this uh, screen for the configuration, we're now going to type in the IP address of our Raspberry Pi, which is the one we set up earlier. And you see we now have a connection to our Pi and we can log in with Pi and password Raspberry. And now it's just as if we were sitting at the command prompt directly on our Raspberry Pi. We can issue all the commands we need to and things like that. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next tutorial.